Are you ready to mod some walls? Only walls I mod are fourth walls. Well, great. You just broke them. Hello and welcome to Modwall, the podcast where Nasty Nate and Matthew Kugler modify Roman walls to keep the Visigoths out. Fading. How often do you think about the Roman Empire there, Kugs? It's, it's crazy uh, because as you asked it, I was thinking about it. Wow. And then now, like I'm thinking about it. What was the question again? How- I hope it was about... About, How often I think about the Roman Empire. Okay, was, good. That's exactly what it's about. Do you just sometimes find yourself getting like randomly angry that the the barbarians sacked it? Yes and no. I'll say no because mm. if if you really think about it, would we talk about it and or would we think about it as much? Good point. Is the tragedy sack free? Who cares? You know. Yeah. It's just like oh, it's still. No, Ro- Roman Empire. It's only because it it fell. Do we talk about it really? You know, that's it. That's an excellent point. So a little bit later in the show, we're gonna get to one of your favorite segments. Hype me up. That's right. The segment where we hype up Roman generals and emperors to keep the barbarians out. But first, and say it with me, folks. You know it. We need to mod some walls. Some walls. So I've got my first wall here, and it's it's clear it's a classic Aurelian wall here. Um, and what I'm seeing here is it's really easily scalable. So easy, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna want to dig a moat around this bad boy, fill it with a lot of angry alligators, not crocodiles angry alligators keep them not fed keep them hungry keep them tough uh and i'm gonna fill that around and to find out if i'm successful we actually have a ai for mod wall it is wall gpt so i'm gonna plug in my modifications here and we should get a result the visigoths will be able to climb your using grappling hooks and defeat the Romans in the year 457. So that's not good. I mean, that's worse than, you know, what everybody says is the classic fall of Rome 476. Um, so I should have, I should have thought about that. Um, Coogs, here's your first wall. It's a, uh, the London wall. Roman wall in London here. How are you modifying this bad boy? So this one, I'm just looking at it, and um, you know the current image we have, the grass is on the one side, right? Mm-hmm. We don't know what we don't know what's on the other side. Yeah, I see a shadow of a fence, which in my mind, you know, we're gonna argue that the fence came later, which is a shame, and it also seems weird to fence in a wall. You yeah, know, so even 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 nowadays, we're we're very aware. Like the wall, it's not cutting it, so it definitely needs some modifications. Hear me out. Okay, I'm seeing that grass. That grass looks nice. I don't want to walk on it. There's a patch that looks like it needs some. I know I'm focusing too much on the grass, but hear me. We're gonna get to the the mod of the wall. I assure you. That patch looks like it's in dire need of a sign that says, "Do not walk on grass." Mm. Yeah, maybe it's fenced off a little bit, you know, just with those little posts in the in the ground, that that tape that does nothing. I say, put grass all over the wall. Just cover the whole wall in grass. Okay. okay? Interesting. Put up a sign that says, "Do not walk on grass." 
Okay, I'm gonna plug that into wall GPT and see uh, what it says here. You have successfully saved the Roman Empire. Wow. I mean, I, I, I think when we think of like barbarians and everything, it's we immediately just go like, oh, they don't abide by any rules. They don't care about anything. Yeah. But there's something in all of us that when you see something that says, don't don't step on the grass, don't walk on the grass, you kind of you feel you feel for the grass, right? Mm-hmm. If you cover the whole wall in grass, hear me out. You're you're like you're gonna be confused. You're like, well, this is weird. Why yeah. is all this grass on the wall? And you're just gonna be like, I don't know what's on the other side. It 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 worked clearly. So good strategy. Bravo to you. So I'm gonna take a look at my next wall that I'm modding here, and it looks like I've got an up close picture here. It looks like a smoother um, wall. But, you know, I want to avoid that grappling hook mistake here. So if, if I know anything about barbarians, it's that they like to free solo climb and there's still enough little grips that I can see in there. I'm going to take a big time power sander, maybe do a bunch of TikToks about it, too, of power washing this thing till it's really, really smooth. Oh. And then I think what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to maybe put some barbed wire on the top. I can't see the top, but I know it's there. Every wall has a top. There's no wall without a top. So I'm definitely going to put barbed wire on the top. Some say, does the barbed wire help the grappling hook get more purchase? That's what I, That's exactly what I was just about to say. Yeah, but I think it's good enough of a deterrent that they won't even attempt the grappling hook. So I'm going to plug this in here to... Uh, wall GPT and see what it says here. You idiot. The Visigoths will tunnel under your wall and defeat the Roman no, Empire. I didn't even think about that. You have failed. I mean, it felt a little rude there. I'm trying. I don't know. Wall GPT didn't need to like insult me like that. But We'll see. Maybe I'll third time's the charm, but let's let's get you your second wall here. Uh, you got. I, I feel like we need them. That we need to mod the AI, the <laughs> AI GPT to be a little nicer. Hear me out too on the 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 barbed wire grappling aside. Mm-hmm. Barbed wire always makes me think like, oh, you're 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 really actively trying to keep me out. And it just makes me want to go over even more, you know. Oh, okay. Can you feel the tension? And also, not to bring not not to bring it back to my my solid grass idea. <laughs> but if I cut out a patch of that grass and I throw it over your barbed wire, boom, barbarians, they're over it. No time. Yeah, and that was a big success for you. So, here's a look at your uh, second wall. All right. So my, if I'm modding this wall. And I'm gonna. The wall is telling me something, and and it's saying, "Hey, I got a big hole on this side." <gasps> yeah. The wall already fell. <gasps> but that fence. Now, I don't know what the, the the time period is on when that fence was built. I'm pretty confident that it was built at the same time as that wall. Okay. Make the fence taller. How about that? It's I, I'm thinking outside the box, and in yeah. the box, the box is the wall in this case. So everyone's like, "Oh, I, I want to modify that wall." No, I say modify the fence that's outside that wall, because think how defeating it would be. You scale a wall, right? And mm-hmm. you're like, "Great, I scaled that wall." I don't care how they got over there. They scaled the wall, and then they go, "Ah, crap! There's a fence." And even though the fence looks like it's smaller than the wall, it's just so defeating when you got on that other side and you thought like, oh, I cleared it. And then now you're like, I got a fence. And that fence actually looks way more difficult than the wall to scale. True, true. And I think they might just turn around. So I think we should plug this in and uh, see what happens Exactly. 
Yeah, because like uh, uh, nothing really appealing on that other side of that fence either. Yeah. All right, plug it in. I'm plugging it in. Congratulations, you have done it again. The Romans, thank you. Once again, victorious. I mean, I should maybe try to take a page out of your book here. Yeah, you might want to mod this game so that you're better at it, actually, at this point. No offense. So sorry. I mean, it's it's what we do. You think I'd be better at this with all the times in the past that we've done this, but my next final wall, it's a it's a black and white image because it's all that remain like we don't have this wall doesn't exist anymore. So I'm so. seeing some plants. There's a big huge gate. Like I'm making sure first mod the gates open. I'm closing the gate for sure. Um and there seems to be like a caravan of horses that are going around there. I'm mm-hmm. thinking they're they're I'm going to change those horses to zebras. I'm going to go a little outside of the box with your thinking. I'm going to change those to zebras and maybe that'll confuse them that uh-huh. if they do manage to get over the wall that if they see the zebras they'll question is this Rome? Did we climb the right wall? Oh, and they might turn around and go back. So I'm going to, I like that. I'm going to plug that in and see what happens here. You fool. The Visigoths will seduce the wife of a head general. She will betray them by opening the gate and allowing Alaric to sack Rome extra hard. How are you so bad at this? I I didn't think of the seduction possibility there. But again, I don't understand why it has to be so mean to me. I'm out here. I'm trying. I'm definitely. Am I modding the walls? Yes. Does it need to I, insult me? I don't know. I don't think. Uh, not only that, but uh, Visigoths, uh, awful, right? You yeah. know, just, just so destructive. Mm-hmm. But anywhere near as emotionally destructive as as the the ai gpt at this point <laughs> well, i don't know race. i feel like you need to tear up you know you need to raise some more emotional walls if anything let's go ahead and take a look at your your last wall here you've got a section of the aurelian wall has has a nice tower beautiful tower <laughs> all right so i'm looking at the tower Looking at the slope, um, kind of gives me uh, Tony Hawk skateboard pro skater uh, like level vibes to it. Like there's a slight slope to the wall, it makes me. I, I mean, what an invitation! It, it screams scaling. I see that with the angle there. Like I am, oh, even funny. it looks like it has a place where all I'm thinking right now is how can I grind on that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So I'm going to I'm going to take a version. I apologize for the unoriginality. I'm going to take a version of yours, okay? Okay. Here's my tactic. At the top of that wall, you just have endless bowls of spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> okay, okay. Just endless endless bowls. You've been successful. I'll hear you out. I I I cannot express Do you need any sauce? The, the, you know, you can't have the like well, you don't know how many people are, are trying to you don't know how many Visigoths are coming up there. There's 50 and you only got enough, you know, bowls for 45. That's they're going to be angry about that. Endless bowls of spaghetti and meatballs. They get to the top. Who's not happy about seeing a bowl of spaghetti and meatballs, right? They food first. <laughs> pillaging second they they if they're stuffed with spaghetti and meatballs they're gonna turn right around they're just, like I, I think this is what we came for you know it's like that it's it's like a unprompted meal Ooh, look, this looks good i'm gonna have some of this truly think about it i i'm thinking Who about has it. blood and warfare on the mine and then face with face with a bowl of spaghetti and meatballs is not going to take it and it's what the romans do right when in rome right is that how the roman empire works i don't know 
I th- I think Debatable. so. So so you're going with the food coma strategy, and of course, it's Italy. So we're throwing up those spaghetti and meatballs up there. I mean, I'm interested to see. You've been successful so far, so let's see what happens. Congratulations, you have done it again. However, the Romans would successfully take over all of the world, creating a monolithic culture that would expedite global warming, ending the world in 1834. Hmm. You know, I didn't think about that part. I did forget that part. You know, producing all those meatballs and spaghetti could be bad for the environment especially when you were saying endless endless resources it does need to be endless i did ah oh shoot i did really push the whole endless part right yeah and i think that's what did you in a culture that wants endless things is they're not going to think about the environment you know i didn't i didn't even mention the breadsticks yeah Coming up next, Coog's favorite segment. Hype me up. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. And I will have my vengeance. In this life or the next. Now. All right, folks. It's now Coog's favorite segment. Hype me up. The segment where we hype up Roman generals and emperors, getting them to save the empire. Coog's your first. Roman Emperor is Romulus Augustulus, the 11 year old who was appointed the usurper, usurped it, but only reigned for one year because then he was later deposed in 475. Rami. I'm going to call him Rami. My little dude. Hype me up. Here's the thing you got a lot on your shoulders, your little shoulders. You're young. You've got the whole world ahead of you. Truly, that's kind of your plan. Your father set you up really with such high expectations. You probably couldn't even spell expectations at that point. Yeah. It's difficult for you to really succeed. And yet, in some small way, you're gonna. You're gonna succeed Hype me up. for a little while. It's gonna be tough. Your death is gonna be very questionable. I know this isn't really hyping you up, but in true <laughs> hype me up fashion, I have to take you down a little bit before I bring you back up. But you know what, Rami, my, my little dude, I think if one was to say the world is your oyster, I think Rome is your empire. And I think you're going to make it your own until you ultimately die a very weird death. But nonetheless, I, I'd be hyped if I was him. Right? All right, Nasty Nate. You need to hype up Julius Nepos. Emperor from June fourteen, for, June four seventy four to August four seventy five. What a sweet ride! Go. All right, Julius, listen up, bro. Hype me up. I know it's short and sweet, but sometimes those are the best things in life, right? You got that great name, Julius, after Julius Caesar, right? Got some big footsteps there, and I just want to let you know. Your reign was short, but your last name lives on. Nepos? We talk about Nepo babies all the time, bro. You started something. So while your time may be short, just know that you will be remembered, sir, because of your name. I think he might be hyped. I don't know. I would be pretty hyped. All right, Coops. And also... I would assume, like as hyped as, insert Chris Cody joke here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other famous Nepo babies. <laughs> the the only one in my book. Coogs, 
your next uh, person to hype up. Wait a second. How'd this get here? You have to hype up Miami Heat fans who didn't get Damian Lillard? Oh, no. Uh, all right. Hype me up. Heat fans. Heat Nation. Ryan Cortez, probably, specifically. And I just want to say, like, you're cowards, and I hate you. You really thought that you were going to get Dame, right? Dame was your dude. He was he was yours. You were going to take over the world with Dame. The league, everything. Here's where the Roman element comes into play. Rome fell. The possibility of getting Dame, it fell. It's never meant to happen. And you know what? That's okay. Because you never needed him. You never needed him to begin with. You got who you you got who you always needed. You got Jimmy B. You got Bam. And you got whoever's left of who you didn't trade away. Oh yeah. And that guy Tyler Hero that you multiple times over pretty much disrespected by saying well can we get Dame if you, we give you Tyler and a bag of Miami's finest but like I said before and by before I mean 35 seconds ago you never needed Dame your story is much better without Dame the league will presumably hate you less without Dame. So now when you make it to the finals again this year and again lose in five it's going to be okay. Because you know what? You did it on your own. And isn't that the most beautiful time to be alive? Who needs Dame time when you have hype me up time? Hype me up? I'm I'm ready to believe. All right, all right. Are you ready? Are you ready, Nate, for yours? I'm I'm ready. I I I don't feel like you're ready. I feel like you need to give it a, a good Charlotte hype me up in order to really feel it. Hype me ready? up. Uh, you didn't. No, you got to go up more at the end. You haven't been practicing this. You had Wait, to have practiced see. it before. Hype me up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's the eyes. It has nothing to do <laughs> with how you say it. It's the eyes. All right. Your hype me up is Maximus Decimus Murtius, or better known as the Gladiator. He's the commander of the armies of the North, general, general of the Felix Legions. Loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Hype me up. Listen, Maximus, I feel you. We've all been down. We've all been kicked down, had our backs against the wall. You know, just the other day, I wanted to go get Taco Bell, but they weren't opening. They weren't open because they were being remodeled. So I know what it's like. And bro, you know, you know the deal. We're all dust and shadows, right? It's, you know, enjoy the ride. And what a ride it's been for you, right? You know how to handle your blade with the frost. Sometimes it makes the blade stick. So you don't have to be afraid of that. You know your way around a tiger pit. So yeah, things look grim, but you know you've you've been practicing your whole life for this. You've got the skills. And and you're you're totally hyped about that wheat field you're gonna be walking in. Think about that. Eyes on the prize, bro. The wheat field at the end of it all. You know what what we do here echoes in eternity, that, that big old wheat field where it's constantly sunset. That's your goal. That's what you're aiming for. And so you're gonna climb your way out of this. You're gonna, you're gonna get your vengeance. I believe in you. Nasty Nate believes in you. 
I mean, if you're not ready to fight a lion after that, what are you doing? Yeah. And this has been... Did you hype me up? Are you a man who wants that death smiles at this home? All a man can do is smile back. Well, folks, that's it for Modwall. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week where we really narrow our focus on creating the best pillar. Wait, I have to come back next week? Nah, I think we pretty much run this bit into the ground. Okay, thank God. Modwall is a fan Levitard show production for the public use of our audience. Any other use of this podcast or any other pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this show shared on the internet, social media, message boards, or 4chan, hopefully not there, are welcome. No walls are harmed in the making of Modwall. <laughs>